And of course, uh, we are going uh, to continue with you, uh, Paseca Farumeli. And of course, here we are accentuating on the role of Africa. It is uh, obvious that this uh, global transformation is talking is already happening. Like we heard uh, Dr. Eddie outlining and pointing out key areas of concern as far as this is concerned. But then, uh, let me uh, particularize uh, with you uh, on the aspect of uh, maybe uh, the political aspect of it, uh, seeing everything that is happening in uh, Africa and uh, the, the wind of change blowing across Africa. So the question now is, what will uh, this, uh, uh, with the present state of affairs across uh, the world, uh, dear Paseka, uh, what do you think uh, is Africa's perspective in uh, the area of geopolitics as far as this global transformation is concerned? What are those uh, geopolitical maneuvers or happenings uh, that directly concern Africa and Africa can capitalize on to be able to bring forth uh, practically its own perspective at the international arena to the benefit of Africans? Um, this is a very difficult pro uh, question because this is purely hypothetical when you look at the current reality of where Africa is in terms of geopolitics. Because in reality, Africa finds itself in a very peculiar uh, and yet a very uh, minimalistic uh, point or, 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 or position when you look at geopolitics. There's a lot of things that uh, African leaders have spoken for and against, but these things do not take are not taken into cognizant because of the, the 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 value that the west and the rest of the world have placed on africa and african politics to be specific so the reason why i'm saying that it's a very difficult question and a very complex one is because it means that we now need to theorize and hypothesize what would ideally work for us as africans on the global stage to have an actual say in global politics and that is uh that is one of the one of the hardest things because i give you an example a number of african countries have come out to say that uh the current war that is currently happening not really a war but a bombardment on palestine uh by israel the current situation that is happening there is unjust however still in the in the in the un nothing much uh was 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 validated from our point of view um it was voided that we are able to send in um what do you call this aid or oh, not aspect specifically, but aid to be sent into um, into Palestine because of only a few votes against many votes. So that speaks a lot to the value of us as, African, uh, as Africans or the general South, you know, because at the end of the day, it means that the power of the globe is held particularly by a number of, uh, of, 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 of global superpowers. And these superpowers particularly are the United States, Germany, Israel in itself as a huge Huge role that it's playing in global politics uh, and the rest of the world, basically uh, the UK and the likes. So that being said, it means that we have to be able to move away from our current position, which means that our our, our voting rights in global politics need to have certain value and power, and that is very difficult to do because at the at this point and at this perspective, the reality of the matter is that global politics are not centered around us. They have been set up in a in a way that there are those who can only provide the minimum and then there are those who can provide the maximum uh the majority actually are meant to say and in in that what i'm saying is that it is a a a a, a a ridiculously difficult position to find yourself in if you're trying to center yourself. So uh, moving from there as a point of departure um, to uh, being uh, purely hypothetical and trying to theorize a possible role that we can play in geopolitics as Africa in the future. Uh, the first thing that we need to do, I believe uh, Dr. Eddie has spoken to, um, we need to focus on the ideas of digitizing ourselves and centering a from my own perspective and centering a a, 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 a a currency that is going 
going to be backed by the minerals that we currently have. And I know that this is more complex than I am simplifying it to be, but for you to have any uh, geopolitical value, you need to have value in yourself as a continent. So what I'm basically saying in that is that currently Africa, it seems as though we are not contributing anything to the global uh, to the global sphere. However, in reality, we are significantly contributing. However, because of the role that our politicians have decided to portray themselves and to uh, to, 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 to position themselves in, in the globe, it becomes relatively difficult for us to say that we are as powerful as we technically are. You, you, you get what I'm saying? So because of that, because of that, our weak, uh, weakness in politics, and also I'm saying this weakness in politics with the understanding of neocolonialism, uh, neocolonialism, sorry about that, and also the role that the West still continues to play in the continent of Africa, specifically outside of the global global west uh, the global south actually i meant to say so um with that understanding i also understand that what we currently see happening in the sahel is an a reaction to something that the people have recognized they've seen how um, they have been neglected by a system which is supposed to take care of them at the expense of the French. And that in itself explains the entire reality of the continent if you look at what is happening in the continent because a large population and a large majority of the continent uh, still continues to contribute so much to the, to, to, to the world. However, it's still not able to position itself in a, position, uh, in a point of strength when negotiating from a geopolitical point of view so you 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 understand so that is why these politics that you are referring to become very significant and they become very powerful and important because politics override everything economics are overwritten by politics once you have a strong political stronghold and a point of departure only then are you able to negotiate your position in the world at this point in time we find ourselves in that peculiar position that i've been saying where we are portrayed as though we are not contributing enough to the global world uh, uh to the world actually however there's a significant contribution we continue to make but our politics continue to not position themselves strong enough to be able to make sure that we have a say if we say that the war on uh, uh, the war on uh, uh, on palestine is incorrect and is unjustified there should be actual repercussion for those words however we say this we can say it openly like the president of south africa went out and said that but nothing actually happens in actual seeing differences in the trajectory of the war what we are seeing is a genocide that is uh, in, in motion and whatever we say does not significantly make any difference. However, if America do say something for uh, Palestine, this would take a different trajectory. This one would take uh, this genocide that is being done actually would take a general trajectory that differs significantly as compared to what we can say as the general South, specifically and particularly as Africa, and compared to what they say uh, as uh, the West, specifically the United States. So you see, those that ability to have geopolitical power in itself is so significant. And we see it in practice every time that we find ourselves in positions where people say, we want your opinion. But at the end of, of the day, that very opinion is often is worth of nothing because nothing that we say actually uh, changes the reality of global politics. So it's 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 it's, it's a disaster that uh, we can only solve by ourselves. Going back to that hypothesis that I was speaking to, it's a disaster that we can only solve ourselves by being able to have a strong political core as a continent, moving away from these ideas of dictatorship, moving away from these, uh, these ideas of countries that lack a certain level of democracy, even though they portray themselves as countries that have democracy. If we can move away from that, if we can be able to strengthen and, uh, 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 and streamline our currencies and our minerals, so that we are able to sell them at value that they actually should be sold at, then and only then I believe that we can have a political stronghold moving forward and have a foot to stand on when we are now negotiating with the rest of the world. And then we can be taken serious because at this point in time, we must not be deluded in our approach and in our analysis. We need to be realistic in where we are standing as a people of Hello, this I continent. Hello, I hope that I did speak to you. <laughs>